All right, I think we're ready to begin. So go ahead and come to your mat. If you have a yoga strap, um, you'll want to bring something like this with you. Uh, if you don't have a strap, but you do have, you know, a sweatshirt or a towel or a um, belt or something else, just go ahead and find some kind of strap-like item. We're going to start laying down. So go ahead and come to your yoga mat. Lay on down in some kind of comfortable position. Maybe it's Shavasana, corpse pose. With your arms and legs extended. Maybe you find constructive rest pose with your knees bent and your feet standing up near the edges of your mat. And then your knees kind of falling together at the center. As always, just keep experimenting and adjusting until you feel as comfortable as you think you can for now. And as you arrive, if it feels right, just taking a clearing breath or two or three, inhaling through your nose, and sighing or blowing out of your mouth. With each of those clearing breaths that you decide to take or not, just letting yourself arrive more fully in this moment. Maybe letting go of any worries or anything that might be weighing you down in this moment. Following your breath, just finding a natural rhythm here. Breathing in and out, we'll find our proper oral posture by sealing the lips, softening the jaw, and pressing your tongue up to the roof of your mouth with the tip of your tongue just behind your teeth, and as much of the rest of the tongue pressing up on the palate or the roof of your mouth. Just a gentle press. We're not exerting a lot of energy there. And the teeth slightly parted or slightly touching, just so there's not pressure there between the teeth, just a little bit of space. See how that feels. Try it on for size. This will allow us to breathe and focus on nasal breathing. Your nose is nice and clear and that's available to you. We'll go ahead and just kind of keep that going. Feeling the air coming in through the nostrils. You might even sense or imagine that your nasal passageways are widening. It becomes clearer and easier for you to breathe in. And breathe out. Spending a couple more rounds of breath here, getting to know yourself in this moment. How's your body? How's your mind? Your energy, your spirit, just kind of reflecting all the different parts. you'd like to set a dedication or intention, feel free to bring something or someone to mind. Take one more clearing breath together in through your nose. Sighing pleasure. And starting to wiggle your fingers and toes. 
If your eyes were closed, maybe you start to take them long blinks, just opening and closing a couple times. You might let your head kind of rock from one side to the other. Maybe rotating out the ankles and wrists a couple of times. And then reaching the arms and legs straight and long in opposite directions, creating a long body stretch. Feel free to add on some more rotation or any other little experiments or exploration while you stretch long. Alright, we'll bring those arms down by our sides. Let's stand the feet up here, bending your knees and bringing the soles of the feet together. If you have a pillow or anything under your head, you might want to remove that now. We'll do a couple of rounds of our breathing bridge pose here. So pressing your hands and arms down by your sides. Tuck your shoulder blades in underneath the back there. And then tuck your tailbone under so you're flattening your low back toward the floor. With your inhale, start to lift up, reaching your hip points up towards the sky. And then exhale as you lower back down. And if your knees felt funny at all, you maybe take a step uh, toward the top of your mat or maybe out wider and try again. We're inhaling as we lift up and exhaling as we lower back down. Go ahead and do that two more times, inhaling and lifting and exhaling and lowering. And just one more. Lifted on this last one if you'd like, or you will exhale. One more breath in, and then breath out, lower down. All right, let's start to lift and straighten, or almost straighten that left leg up. You can hold on behind your thigh here if you'd like right away. Just rotate out your left ankle a couple times both directions. Getting some movement there for the left ankle joint. All right. And then bend your left knee and cross your left ankle behind that right knee for your figure four. And if this is already feeling good, you can stay right here. Maybe Press your left hand into your left knee a little bit if that feels good. Um, you might, if you have a block close by and you want to deepen this pose a little bit, you might bring your right foot on top of a block and then find your figure four again. So just bring you know, your leg in slightly. That's still not quite enough for you today. You could reach to interlace your fingers behind that right leg or on top of your right shin. And you find a nice variation, a kind, accepting variation for your body today. Maybe you find some slight movements, sometimes a little bit of rocking side to side or circling um, can feel nice. Maybe you wiggle the toes, just noticing if you want to add in any little movement here, otherwise just hold steady. Just try to let your shoulders and upper body be nice and relaxed here. What about two more breaths? And then one more breath in. And one more breath out. Your right foot was lifted. Go ahead and set it back down on the ground. We're going to keep our figure four legs and start getting a little bit of a twist going here. I like to bring my arms out wide, but you can really have them wherever you'd like. Just let your knees kind of twist over to one side and then to the other. And you could kind of rock back and forth a few times or stay on each side for a couple of breaths. In addition to the twisting bridge reaches you might be get, you might be getting, I really enjoy the massage pressure on the low back, the sacrum. 
as you transition from side to side. Just by noticing when Okay, and sure enough, going back to our neutral figure four here. If you have your strap handy, we're going to begin um, to use that. So um, we're going to bring the left foot, um, the arch of the left foot into the strap. You're kind of looping that strap up. You can hold on with both hands or one hand and then straighten that left leg up if your leg allows. Doing at least a little micro bend in your knees. So we're not locking into the joints too much. And maybe um, maybe bringing the straps to one hand if you like, letting your other arm rest. Maybe pull the strap a little closer in for more of a stretch on the back of that left leg. Just hold steady where you're at. If you're one who likes to continue to have some movement, you can bend your left knee a little bit and then straighten that left leg again. Wiggle your toes. You can find little circles in that hip joint. And then we'll just hang out here for about three more breaths. Take that left leg out wide. You can bend your knee a little bit more if uh, that feels safer and more comfortable to you, or keep it straight. Just kind of reaching that left leg out toward the left side. Luckily, I have a wall next to me. It's kind of nice to have your foot kind of rest on something. Maybe if you're in your living room, maybe your couch or um, something else, just so you can kind of soften in to this um, kind of inner inner leg opener. And we're resting here. Just for about three more breaths. Just about one more breath. And bring that leg back up to center. You can remove that strap for now, set it aside, and then bend your left knee and step your left foot down on the ground. Pausing here, maybe closing your eyes and just noticing the kind of space you may have created through the hips, through the legs. Noticing if one leg feels a little different than the other. We'll switch sides. So we're lifting and straightening or almost straightening that right leg up. Again, you can hold on behind your thigh if you need some support there. And then just rotate out your right ankle a couple times both ways. Wiggle your toes. Just getting some good movement going there. And when you've had enough of that, we're going to bend. Kind of bend the right knee and find figure four this side, and right ankle just behind your left knee. All those same variations from the first side are available. You could step that left foot up onto a block for a little more um, depth there, or maybe press your right hand into your right knee or thigh, or reach to interlace your fingers behind that left thigh or on top of the right shin. Just try to keep your upper body kind of soft. Breathing, letting this pose take you out. Here for three more breaths. And whenever you're feeling complete on that side, go ahead and set that left foot down. 
keeping your figure four legs. Let's experiment with some twists again. So letting your knees kind of sway over, twisting to one side first, either way. And then up and over to the other side when you feel ready. This could be extremely slow. Maybe just visiting each side once. Or you can go a little bit quicker. Spending maybe a couple of seconds on each side and then slowly making your way up and over to the other side. And try to think about uh, this pose not just being like the destination, you know. Um, so just noticing everything along the way as well as you switch from one side to the other. There's much to be enjoyed. And when you're feeling like you've had enough of this, we're going to come on back to our neutral figure four. Go ahead and grab that strap again. Loop up your right, the right, or the arch of the right foot, rather. Go ahead and straighten or almost straighten that right leg up, keeping a little micro bend in the knee to protect that right knee joint. <clears throat> then you might hold down with both arms or maybe just one. Everyone kind of has their own style. Some people like to kind of fold it like their reins and they have one hand on each strap. Kind of feels nice actually. Sometimes it's nice to have your arm all the way extended and just grab both straps with one arm, giving your other arm a little break. Switch between hands, just focusing on some stretch through the back side of that right leg. If you're not quite feeling it, just kind of pulling your leg in a little closer to your body. And remember to keep a little micro bend of the right knee. So we're focusing on the stretching of that hamstring and less pressure on the knee. Okay. And then when you're ready, we're going to open that up toward the right side. I find it easiest to hold on with the right hand and just start letting your right leg open up to the floor as well. Your right, of course. If you have something to rest your leg on, great. So go ahead and set that up. Just starting to feel uh, the inner right thigh. See what's going on here for you in this stretch. have about three more breaths. And let's give that as one more breath. And just slowly bringing that leg back up to center, removing the strap and bringing that right foot back down to the floor. Let's roll on to either side to the fetal position and then right on up uh, towards the seat. But right away, we will come to hands and knees for a couple rounds of our cat and cow. So hands will be right below the shoulders, knees right below your hips. With an inhale, start to lower your belly as you lift your gaze, lift your tailbone, finding cow. And exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis, cat pose. Let's start uh, flowing at your own pace here. You might choose to experiment with letting your uh, pelvis kind of lead the movement. And what I mean is if you're in cow, you'll just start tucking the tailbone under first, kind of like rolling up the spine, and then eventually your chin tucks. And then you can do that same in reverse. So the tailbone starts to lift, the belly starts to lower, and then the gaze starts to drop. So you might just experiment with this type of articulation through your spine. Pelvis led articulation through the spine. Or whatever you want to call it. Cat and cow. Alright. And then coming back to 
and neutral. Let's thread the needle. Left hand pressing down, right hand starting to reach up. Upward twist first. You might rotate out your right wrist a couple times, taking a big breath in. And then exhale, thread the needle. Right hand dipping down and through, setting the right shoulder and right side of the head on the floor. Maybe reaching your left hand up toward the top of your mat. Just staying in place where it feels supportive. Breathe and send your awareness to the right shoulder, the right shoulder blade. Two more breaths. Planting your left hand back by your face, start to press your way all the way back up and reach the right hand high, upward twist. And then set your right hand down on the ground. We're going to switch sides. Take a big breath in and you reach your left arm up. Breathing here, rotate out that left wrist a couple times both ways, if you'd like. And when you're ready, find an exhale and dip and twist that left arm down and through, threading the needle. Setting the left shoulder and left side of your head on the floor. Maybe walking your right hand up toward the top of your mat. And then sending your awareness to the left shoulder and shoulder blade. And then just about two more breaths. Planting your right hand back by your face, start to press your way on up, reaching the right arm high, and then set your hand back on the floor. Let's find extended child's pose with the knees out wide, big toes touching behind you, and then sinking your seat toward your heels a little bit, or a lot. Maybe coming down to your forearms today, maybe walking your hands up toward the top of your mat, and then sinking your head and heart toward the floor. Hold some diaphragmatic breaths here, letting your belly expand with your inhales. Letting everything soften, even more ease with your exhales. One more breath in. And inhale, start to rise back up to your tabletop. Let's find a downward dog here. So grabbing your blocks, if you like to use them, if you have them. Bring them up to the top of your mat, placing your hands right on top. Curl your toes under and lift the knees, lift the tailbone high. Press your hands into the blocks, reach through your shoulders. Find your breath here. And if you like, maybe pedal out your legs, bending and straightening out the same knee. Make a conscious effort to press and hurt through each knuckle and finger. It'll help you protect the wrists and strengthen the hands. Creating a solid base. All right. With an inhale, let's bend our knees and look up toward the top of your mat. But with your exhale this time, let's walk the hands to the back of your mat. So you end up in a forward fold at the back. Or a red wall going forward. You can keep your feet as they are, or maybe, maybe widen your stance so your feet are closer to the edges of your mat if you want a little more room. A little less pressure on the low belly. Let your upper body be nice and loose here. Let your neck find space. Maybe shaking your head yes and no a couple of times. One of my favorite explorations here is to bend, very slowly bend the knees and just feel like a, such a good stretch through the low back, the mid back. Straightening. 
bending the knees really slow. Go and explore your own way though. Just make sure you're breathing. And then we'll bend the knees a little more. Hook your chin toward your chest and then walk your hands up your legs as you come to stand. All right, let's get a good shake going through the body. Just shaking the shoulders, the arms, maybe lifting and lowering the heels a couple of times, getting that nice deep bounce through the muscles and all the body parts. Just freestyling here, follow what feels good in your body, maybe a little twist, maybe some more shaking. We're just getting the uh, circulation going here however we can. Once you've had enough here, let's find mountain pose. So flipping the palms to face the front of your space, feeling your shoulder blades uh, coming together behind your back slightly, and then hugging the rib cage, kind of engaging your core there so you're just feeling really solid. And you might close your eyes for a second because you just feel your strength, your sturdiness, unshakableness here. And inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, baby back bend. Cactus or goal post the arms by bending the elbows and gazing up and tall. Inhale, reach back up on one. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Arms going wide, we're hinging at the hips and then letting the hands find their position. Inhale. Halfway lift, hands coming up to the chins or thighs. And exhale, walk your hands all the way out to your blocks, finding your high plank at the top. One big breath in, breath out. One last breath in. Exhale, downward dog. Reaching the tailbone high, maybe adjusting where your feet are if they don't feel quite right. Take three breaths here, we're inhaling and exhaling, breathing in and exhaling. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look up toward your hands. Exhale and walk your hands to the back of your mat, so you're in forward fold up the back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. With your next inhale, let's reverse swan dive. So the arms reach wide first, and we're hinging up through the hips, flipping the palms, and then joining them overhead. Exhale, hands coming down to your heart center, right there in the sternum. Letting your shoulders kind of melt down, back. Of breaths here as you remember your intention if you set one. And you're just feeling in your experience here in the moment. And let's take a clearing breath together. Inhale through your nose. Sigh to let it go. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk your hands all the way out to your high plank. So about three breaths here. You can always lower your knees for a little extra support. So we're inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. Last breath in, breathing out, find downward dog. Three breaths here, inhale, feel your fingertips, the knuckles dipping down, and exhale, reaching to the tailbone, inhale, and exhale. 
last breath in and breath out. All right, we're gonna bend the knees, just breathe like normal here. Bend your knees and then start to walk your hands toward the back of the mat so you end up in kind of a frog squat. So your heels can be kind of lifted here. It's not like our normal malasana squat. So the, the heels stay lifted. So we're in this kind of frog position. If it's too much to be down that low, you can kind of crouch here and just kind of hold on to your knees. You can also bring your blocks underneath your hands for more support if you'd like. And option to stay right here and just kind of hold this little squat. Or we'll take three breaths as we kind of flow um, through some movement here. And with our inhale, we can straighten the legs, find the forward fold. And then exhale, bend your knees, find that little frog squat again. Kind of pop your chest up. Inhale, or straighten your legs. Exhale, little frog squat. One more time. Inhale, straighten. And exhale. One more breath here in our squat. And breath out. Go ahead and straighten those legs. Slide your hands up your legs. Find your halfway lift position. And then from here, we're going to lift up uh, with a reverse swan dive. So we're already halfway there. Let's just reach those arms out wide and hinging upward through the hips. Flip your palms toward the sky and then join them over. Exhale, hands coming back down to heart center. Take a few moments to notice. Notice what you notice. And then let's take a clearing breath in through the nose. Sigh or blow of the mouth. Go ahead and blink your eyes open if they were closed. I'm going to grab that strap again now. If you have something handy, you'll probably want to use it here. Uh, we'll do a little bit of balancing using our strap. Um, maybe a wall can be really nice here too, or something to hold on to for some support. Even if you feel like you get really good balance. It's so nice to have the wall there, <laughs> just in case. You can also kind of have your back toward a wall, so if you do start losing your balance, you kind of like lean back into it. So you choose that. Um, have your have your strap handy. We're gonna see about balancing here first. So let's try to bring all the weight to that right foot and find one legged mountain pose with the left knee lifting. Left knee could be up here, or you could keep your left toes down on the floor for some support. You choose. All right, our first challenge here, we're gonna just try to loop that strap around the arch of your left foot. You have to step back down, that's okay too. Once you have that foot nice and strapped up, you're gonna start to extend that left leg out in front of you. Again, having something to hold on to, like the wall, it's just so nice. So um, if you are holding onto the wall, you can try kind of pulling your hand away for a second or two and then coming right back for support whenever you need it. If you start feeling nice and steady, maybe you can um, lower the leg. And when you're ready, let's open that left leg out toward the left side. You can keep your knee quite bent here too if that helps. Standing up nice and tall. One more breath in. Exhale, bring that leg back to center, and lower it on down. All right, we can unstrap that left foot, give the right leg, or both legs a little shake, a little refresher. You can go ahead and do that on the other side. So let's find one-legged mountain pose with the right leg lifting. So shift all your weight to the left foot. Start to balance on that left foot, bringing your right knee up. Any amount will do. Feeling steady and you want to continue. Let's try strapping up that right foot, just bringing the strap to the um, arch of the right foot. And then, when and if you're ready, straightening that right leg out in front to give you space. Good. 
breathe. That's all I like to bring my left arm out wide. Just help a lot or hold on to something. Just trying to sort of stand up nice and tall. When you're ready, let's open that right foot out toward the right side. One more breath here. Exhale, bring your leg back to the center and then lower it on down. Ooh. All right, you can let go of that strap, putting it to the side for now. Let's go ahead and head down to the floor and finding your way there. We'll roll onto the back right away, hugging your knees in with you. Find a little bit of free movement as you massage some pressure around your back and your low back. Circling your knees a little bit or rocking side to side. And then we'll find a long body stretch here, reaching both arms along. We'll find banana pose. By walking the heels over toward the right edge of your mat, grabbing hold of that left wrist, give your upper body a nice little pull toward the right side. So you're feeling a nice side bend, opening sensation through that left side. Breathe into the left side of the body. And when you're ready, we'll switch sides. And making your way back through center, walking your heels over toward the left edge of your mat, grabbing hold of that right wrist or arm, and pulling it over toward that left side, creating lots of length and space there, and breathe into the right side of the body. Come back to the center. If there are any last poses, movements, or stretches that your body wants, go ahead and move in those ways now. As soon as you're ready for a final rest, go ahead and choose a position. You could be in Shavasana, corpse pose with your arms and legs outstretched, or constructive rest pose. Really nice lower back friendly alternative with your knees bent and your feet standing up near the edges of your mat and then knees resting together at the center just so you don't have to do any effort really to hold them up. Another option might be legs up the wall if that is one you're familiar with and enjoy or legs up on your couch or a chair. And continuing to get comfortable here, I will begin our sound bath here in just a moment. Until then, just settle on in and enjoy.
if you're feeling ready to begin reawakening from your meditative state, you can start wiggling your fingers and your toes. Maybe moving your ankles and wrists as you open and close your jaw, swallow or yawn. Taking your time, finding that movement. Whenever you feel ready, choosing a side and then rolling over onto that side, finding the fetal position with your knees slightly bent. Maybe your bottom arm can be your pillow. Taking one full round of breath there when you arrive. at the bottom of that exhale, go ahead and use your arms and hands to help you sit on up to a comfortable seat. Maybe keeping your eyes closed as you join your palms in front of heart center. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, peace in our actions, peace in our words, peace in our thoughts, bringing thumbs up to third eye center, and a little gesture of gratitude to yourself, to this practice, to uh, India, where this practice originated, and all of the teachers that have allowed this practice to find us today. If that resonates with you, let's take a little bow forward together now. Peace.